So with these apparel mock-up templates, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is add in your graphics. So I have a t-shirt graphic here from Logo Design Master Collection, a different bundle, but I'm going to just copy that and you'll see a layer here called example graphic. Let's turn that off and you'll see a layer called your art goes on this layer. So let's turn the visibility of that on and also highlight it and we can paste it in there and it's too big. So let's scale it down. And this graphic is a little bit asymmetrical, but I'm just going to place it. So the main part of this oval is centered, not including the fish that's kind of off to the side. And the next thing you may want to do is change the background color. So let's go here to the background color. And the easiest way to select the things in these layers is with these buttons here. So I'll just click on that and we can go ahead and let's change this to say kind of a medium gray. And you'll also notice the next layer up is a drop shadow. And if we open up our transparency window, we can also turn down the opacity of that, or you can just turn the visibility of it off if you don't want it at all. Uh, the next layer is the color layer. And what you can do is again, let's select that shape of the shirt. That's the color layer. And let's double click on our colors here. And let's say I wanted to change this to a blue shirt. We just change it to blue, click OK. And you'll notice that the shading in the shirt is starting to not be quite as, as poppy. So if you want to make the shadows darker, what you can do here is go up to this layer called Extra Shading and just turn it on. I think for this medium blue color, that extra shading is a little too contrasty. So let's go in there, click on this button to select it, and then we'll just turn down the opacity of that extra shading layer. And let's say we wanted to change this color to black. So we go back here to the color layer, select it, and double click on our color swatch. And instead of doing 100% black, this is what trips a lot of people up. If you go to 100% black, all your shadows disappear and all your highlights disappear. So instead of doing that, let's change it to fairly dark gray, but not, not too dark. And we'll click OK. And it, it kind of looks like a really dark gray shirt. Let's turn up the visibility of this extra shading layer to say 100%. And that'll add back in some shadows. And I think we need to maybe just darken up that gray just a little bit. So that's starting to look pretty good. You still see the highlights in the shirt and you also see the black shadow. So it's starting to look like a black shirt. Um, the next thing is let's go into our graphic here and let's select it again with this button and double click on it to isolate it. And I'm just going to select uh, same fill color with all, with all that burgundy color. And let's change that to Kind of a lighter gray so it'll show up on this black shirt click ok and that's starting to look pretty good and the other thing you'll notice we have a heather layer in here and with the heather layer this simulates sort of a tri-blend or poly cotton shirt with the black dark color fabric it's not really showing up very much so let's click here to select it and in our transparency window, we can turn up the opacity. And let me zoom in here so you can see it. So you'll start to see that Heather effect. Turn it off, there it is on. And so that's starting to look like a black Heather shirt. But I'm gonna actually turn that off and we'll just do kind of like a regular cotton t-shirt. You'll also notice there's a pocket layer 
I could turn that on. So this would be like if we printed the shirt and then had a pocket sewn onto it. You could also drag that pocket below your graphic if you wanted to make it look like the t-shirt was screen printed on top of the pocket. But I'm gonna put it back up where it was there. And if you open up this layer group, you can go in here and you can select that pocket color. And let's say I wanted it white. So there you've got like a light or a white pocket. Um, I don't want that in this design, so I'm just gonna turn that visibility, that pocket layer off. The next thing you'll notice is there's a neck label. And what I wanna do is let's turn the visibility of that example off, and you'll see there's also a neck label clipping path. Let's turn that on and select it, and you'll see that it's a path that just follows the opening in the neck label. So let's go here and grab this logo and we'll just use that as our neck label art. I'll copy it. We'll go back into the t-shirt template and let's paste in that neck label, shrink it down and let's position it. You'll see the neck label art is above the clipping mask. Let's actually switch these. Let's drag that logo below the clipping mask and we'll select the clipping mask and our new neck label art and go command seven or control seven or object clipping mask make and that will clip out our new neck label art into the opening of that neck label. Same thing goes for the shirt itself. So if you have an, an oversized graphic, there's also an extra clipping path in here that you can use to clip out your t-shirt art. Let's say it goes off the edge of the shirt, up on the shoulder here, or off to the side, but we don't need that, so we'll just turn that off. And that's how you mock up my apparel mock-up templates in Adobe Illustrator.